Welcome back! In the first video, I showed you how to record your voice and add some simple effects to enhance your audio to get it podcast ready. In this video, I'll show you how to add music, a pre-recorded interview, how to fade any audio in and out, and finally, export your file. First, let's go ahead and add some music to the introduction that we recorded in the last video. I already have some music picked out, and all I need to do is click and drag it into my files over here in Audition. Then in Audition, I will just click this and hold, and I will drag it down to my music track right here. Just for visual sake, I'm actually just going to switch these tracks. So I want this intro music to play a bit before the spoken intro starts. So as long as I have my move tool selected, I'm just going to go ahead and move this over just a little bit. And let's go ahead and listen to this. Welcome to podcasting. Alright, so it's not terribly loud, but once the spoken part starts, I want to make sure that this music is pretty much not heard. So to make this audio dip down, there is a yellow line right here. It might be a little hard to see, but when you hover over it, your cursor actually changes. Make sure you click on it to select the track, and then click on this volume slider. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to add two keyframes. So one here, then one right next to it. And I'm going to just drag this down. And now that audio is going to dip down and really not be heard once the spoken part is happening. Let's listen to that really quickly. Welcome to podcasting in the classroom. So that did a nice dip so we could actually hear the spoken part. I'm going to leave the music alone for now because I actually want some music at the end of my interview as well. So we'll come back to that. The next thing I want to do is I want to fade my recording from last week just a little bit. And I want to fade it in and then out. All I need to do for that is come up here and click my little gray square. And if I hold down my Alt and Option key while I click and drag this, what that's going to do is actually it's going to make a symmetric fade for me. I have some pre-recorded answers to some questions that I'm going to go ahead and put into this podcast. Before this tutorial, I went ahead and recorded the questions to the answers and applied the same effects that I applied in the intro in the previous video. I also made sure I left a bit of a pause in between each question so it would be easier to cut. So the waveform you see over here is actually my questions. And I'm going to go ahead and pull in these two files. These are the answers to my questions, again, in the Files window in Audition. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my razor blade tool to go ahead and cut what I recorded. All you need to do is just do a nice click. All right, and then I will use my move tool. I will select all these parts that I just cut out and just hit delete on the keyboard. So this is my first question. And then let me bring in my first answer, which I'll put on the interview track down here. Move this over so there's not a bunch of pausing. Here's my second question. And then here is my answer. Let's go ahead and take a listen to this. Welcome to Podcasting in the Classroom. This week, we're talking to Sarah Hodgson about oracy and teaching. Let's get started. Sarah, what is oracy? Oracy is students' ability to communicate. It's communication skills, speaking and listening. What is the impact of oracy on teaching and learning? Improved outcomes for students, better grades, better results. Ultimately, they leave school being confident communicators. In terms of teaching, this isn't a big shift in planning. It's just another set of tools in a teaching toolkit to use. All right, so there we have our questions with our answers. I don't like that there is this big space here, so I'm just going to make sure that I select everything and move it over just a bit. I also want to go ahead and fade 
this all in and out like I did earlier. So again, I will click the gray square, hold down my Alter Option key, and just do my symmetrical fade. I'm going to go ahead and do that on all of them. All right. The last thing I want to do is bring the music back at the end of the interview. So I'll just scroll over here. The ending is right here. I'm going to make sure my music track is selected. I'm going to add two keyframes again just by clicking on this volume. And then drag the second keyframe up to bring this back up. Now I don't need all this at the end, so again I can use my razor tool. We'll let it play a little bit after she's stopped speaking. We'll cut it right about here. Use my move tool, select this, and I'll delete it. And then I just want to go ahead and apply this fade out at the end. All right. So we now have background music, an intro to the podcast, a very brief interview portion, and then there's music at the end as well. Now we just need to export the file. We'll do that by going to File, Export, Multitrack Mixdown, Entire Session. I'm just going to save it as Podcast 1 Mixdown on my desktop. Make sure it's an MP3 audio. Hit OK. And Audition will save that to my desktop. Now you know how to complete your first podcast. Now it's your turn. Hi, everyone. Thanks for watching. Click the link in the description below to explore more free online professional development on the Adobe Education Exchange. And click the link on screen to subscribe to the channel for more videos.